Hi, I'm Jess. So Plant Jess and I got together and decided we were gonna do a what's in my bag video. But then we both have our own bags, so we're doing two separate videos. Check those out below. Mine's going to be a what's in my diaper bag video. I have not looked in this bag in some time, aside to like find something specific. So I haven't done a bag clear out in probably since she was born. So I really don't know what I'm gonna find in here. I'm a little scared. So this bag is a skip and hop bag. It's super cute, super popular. I see it like all the time. Um, I see it in Nordstrom and on Amazon. I think it's under $100, I don't know. I got it as a gift at a baby shower super happy with it. Um, it's one of three diaper bags I received. It's the one that I use the most because it attaches to my stroller with these little straps. Um, I mean, I also really like my other diaper bags, but this one just like toss it on the stroller or like pull it off and use it as a backpack or just carry top handle. Super convenient. Let's get started. First off, we're going to go with this side pocket, which is normally where I put my cell phone, but I'm using it to film, so we'll see what else is in here. Oh, garbage. Oh, good boy. Um, $10 cash. That's cool, because I almost never have cash. Normally when I have cash, I just end up giving it away to a homeless person, and so I very rarely have cash. Uh, but it's good to have on hand in case of emergency, or, or just like, Going into the farmer's market, sometimes like the bakery doesn't take cars or something. Oh sweet, I have more cash? $20. I don't know where this $10 bill came from. I know where the fives came from, but I have no idea where this $10 bill is from. I'm pretty excited about that. Garbage, cool. More garbage. Oh yeah, lens cleaning wipe garbage. Because my glasses are really <laughs> gross. I think that was actually my last wipe. Note to Jez order more lens wipes because I have to use several a day. Ooh, okay. Burt's Bees Lip Shimmer. A plum color. I think it's what I have on right now. I just use a different one. It just like hydrates your lips, gives you a little bit of color without like being super difficult to handle like a normal lipstick. You know, lip where like it gets in your teeth and like everywhere. It just gives a, a pop of color without too much effort. You can put that back in. Oh, I do have another lens wipe. Cool. I'm not gonna use it yet. I just wiped my glasses on my shirt. So, yeah, we're good. Wow, that was a lot for just this one tiny side pocket. And by the way, there's one, two, three, four, five pockets. So it's just like a little side hidden pocket that I always forget about. That has, <gasps> surprise, surprise, it has a bag of almonds. Yeah, my emergency snacks. Super important. Um, I like having almonds in here because like, they're not going to go bad anytime soon and they're really filling, low glycemic index. I think I've said this a million times, but maybe you haven't watched my other videos. Almonds are like a superfood. Okay, that, don't use that word. Let's not use the word superfood. But almonds are really great to have as a snack if you're not allergic to tree nuts. Don't have them if you are allergic to tree nuts. Oh, okay, so this is just like a little pouch that I keep my phone charger in. Uh, it's not in here. So I hope it's in the bag somewhere or else I need to get a new one. Crap. Hand sanitizer. This one is lavender scented. Dr. Bronner's Lavender Organic Hand Sanitizer. This is a little fan that plugs into your phone. <laughs> and I use it to warm up, or not warm up, <laughs> to cool up the baby. Cool off the baby when she's too warm. Um, I probably won't need it in the upcoming months. It was just really good to have during the summer, but it's fall. Prescription sunglasses. I have mixed feelings on these. For one, they're broken. Um, and two, they don't actually look very good on me. They are nice to have, um, just because like if you're outside and it's really bright and you need to see also, it's good to have prescription glasses. But if you don't bring your regular glasses and you go inside, 
then you just look like an idiot. So these are very long gloves. Uh, I think I can also take these out. Um, these are SPF gloves. They're pretty cool. They just block out the sun and uh, they're still the kind that um, you can use your phone with. They have like a little padding. I mean, they don't go with a lot of modern outfits, unfortunately, because I have vitiligo on my hands that gets really burned if I'm not too careful. I'll probably be wearing winter gloves pretty soon for that. So take that out of the bag. This is a really cute sock. Oh, <laughs> she loves it. She loves it. Arr! I'm gonna eat all your food. A really busted up cookie. Oh man, save five dollars at Mud Bay. Plant Jess and I just got these lemon pins from Rifle Paper Company. Um, both at the bookstore. They're super cute. I just need to figure out what to do with mine. We work card. We are not working yet. We work. More snacks. Let's put this in a snack pocket. This is a cookie dopeness picky bar. Cinnamon blazer. I have no idea where I got this. I do have more lens wipes, yay! And another pen, this is from Microsoft. It's supposed to go with a notebook I have, but I don't know what a notebook is. This is seamstress tape, in case you need to measure yourself or other things. Let's see my chest size post baby. Ooh, that's a 38. And that's 34. I think each inch between them is supposed to be your cup size. So I think that makes me a 34D because it's like the smaller one is the band size. Yeah, so 34 and then A, B, C, D. That is actually what I wear, so I guess that's correct, even if it's not technically the right way to do it. Hair ties, pencil. <laughs> How many writing utensils do I need? Uh, this is a lip liner. I don't know why it's in here. Trash. Yay. So much trash. A single bobby pin, because that's gonna help a whole lot. I broke this anklet yesterday. I need to get it repaired. I just put it in my bag. I don't know if it's repairable. Oh. Another pen. Same company, I think. No? Wait, maybe this is a different one. Mm -mm. I don't know, it's a cute pen. Potty bags! Yes. I do have a dog, and I do use potty bags for him, but also, these are really great for putting baby diapers in after they've been soiled and you don't have a trash can nearby. And then, of course, my wallet. A ID, credit card, gym card, I have my Orca card to get around in case I need a bus. Always have it on me. Um, debit card. QOC card. Is this mine or hers? Okay, I have the baby's insurance card, but not my. Oh, no, wait. Okay, my insurance card is in here too. Yes. Always keep your insurance cards with you. In case you need to go to the hospital, just keep them in there. I think my husband also has a copy of the baby's. Push card. I haven't been to Sephora in ages. Child, do not eat the couch. This is part of the couch that she just tossed. Okay, so this, does anyone else do this? My aunt told me that you're supposed to keep money in your wallet at all times for good luck. I think, okay, I should probably have it in there. I have five loonies. Uh, I keep Canadian money in my wallet because then I can't spend it. So it just sits there being lucky rather than like having to replenish it every time. That's all for that pocket. So that was quite a bit actually. Be somewhat organized stuffing this all back in here. Okay, we're gonna go to like smallest to largest pocket I guess. I don't know. I'm gonna go with this back pocket and see what's in here. Oh, a book. Okay, always have a book. And this is another like crossword puzzle book. How cool are these? I love these. Yeah, anytime someone is late for like lunch or something, I just... Yeah. You hate it when people are late too, huh? 
No, I actually don't hate it when people are late. I love it when people are late because I'm usually late and it makes me feel better about myself when other people are even later. I just pop out some crosswords and it's a good way to make sure my brain is still functioning. This is a little notebook that I got from Anthropology. It has a pen on it uh, because I don't have enough pens normally, right? In case I just have an idea for a story or a blog post or if I need to like do some serious math or something for some reason. I don't know, what do I have in here? Oh yeah, this is this is the original plans for my personal website. Oh, I was taking notes because I was learning how to read music last year. So this is just a little um, business card holder. I just have random people's business cards in here. No one I actually talk to, so I probably don't need this, but it's really cute. It's from Kate Spade, it says, let's do lunch. Oh, okay, uh, more baby snacks. Nursing pads that I don't actually use. This, I think, yes. So this is like tampons and pads specifically for other people if they ask. I don't use these at all. Um, I mean, I just use alternatives like Binx panties or Diva Cup. And honestly, I haven't had a period since I was pregnant. In case anyone asks, I just have this little pouch, just in case. Kleenex, in case I just ball my eyes out for no reason, you know, watching movie trailers. This is not even a joke. Ooh, another hair tie. We'll just collect them here. This is a bag to store protos in. It shouldn't actually be in this pocket. Um, this should be in my grocery shopping bag, which is separate, because I keep separate bags for everything. Ew, my lighting got so bad. Sorry. Another hair tie. Mm. Another hand sanitizer. Another Brits Bees. And another cleaning wipe. Yay! I'm gonna hurt myself doing this with hair ties. I'm like already feeling the circulation cut off. Packet of sample baby wipes just in case. I don't know. Oh, I need to freeze this. It's like a little ice pack for the baby. It's like the best thing ever because. Like after she gets her shots, you just like pop the ice pack on and they just, she stops crying immediately. Um, and it's super cute, this little penguin. Okay. Training pads for puppies, which my dog still uses them, but. I pop some in my bag because I hate filthy changing stations. And like the quality ears are always so gross and like sometimes you don't even have a changing station so you have to change your baby like on a table or in the back of a car or something. And I know they have like little like changing stations that you can carry around with you but those end up getting really gross and dirty and then you're just like putting that dirty thing back into your bag. I don't know, it just grosses me out altogether. And so an aunt told me that she used to do this where she would just bring potty pads and put that down and change the baby on that and then just toss it away. Which, yes, it is a little more wasteful. I try not to be too wasteful for myself, but when it comes to my baby, I just want to be careful. So we do use disposable diapers and potty pads. There's like actually like a lot of research that shows that reusable things aren't necessarily better because you have to wash them and because of the production. Well, I can do a separate video on that. This is this is just about these. They're great if you're willing to do that. Um, also, one time I was in the mall and a dog started peeing on the floor and I was like, wait, I have the perfect thing for this. And so I just busted these out and put them under the dog and his owners were super grateful because otherwise there would be just like this giant puddle of pee on the floor. Finally, we're on the last pocket, which is the biggest, but hopefully not too repetitive or anything. Okay, more Kleenex. Got it. Benadryl, because even though I never have to use it, other people around me insist they're gonna die like all the time. So I just keep it on me for other people. I, I try to keep a lot of things on me for other people. Oh hey, another book, because I really like to read. Baby biscuits, but I... Okay, she likes them, and they're convenient, but I don't think they're the healthiest thing. So I think I'm gonna get rid of them. I think there's just too much sugar. 
It's just like a little book that she can play with, you know, if she's bored in the car or something. Oh yes, big old thing of baby wipes. Yeah, this is where you get to the more like baby baby stuff, because it is a diaper bag after all. Um, yeah, toys, diapers, hopefully in the right size. What even is this? Oh! Oh, it's this cute little outfit. Uh, it has swans on it. A little dress. Oh, she never gets to wear this because it's just like stuck in here all the time. I'm gonna pull it out and switch it out because I think it's too cute to just be a backup outfit. At very empty thing of wipes. Whew, more diapers. I'm not sure she goes through this many a day. Uh, oh yeah, this is just like a big burp cloth. It's also big enough to be like a light blanket in case she gets chilly. Badger baby STF. It, just, it comes out very white and doesn't turn a different color. So you, it's not gonna be one that blends in really well. It is recommended by the Environmental Working Group. I picked mine up at New Seasons, but I'm sure you could get it at a number of places. It's a selfie stick. The Nutcracker! It was 40% off tickets and I totally forgot to get one. More trash. Baby sunglasses! So cute. Wow, I have a lot of trash in here. Headband. So for me, just in case. I don't know, I never use it, but I'm gonna leave it in there. And then, last thing are quick, quick clean wipes. <laughs> now to like stuff it all back in here. This is great. I feel like this back pocket is more like a mommy pocket and the front pocket is more of a baby pocket and then this is like on the go items that I might need to just grab real quick. So yeah, that's what's in my neighbor bag. I'm sorry that the lighting got so weird so fast. Let me know in the comments if you want to see a what's in my college bag video because uh, I think that one's pretty different. Um, I'm not in college anymore, but I do remember what I carried, and it was a lot. With that, I'll see you lovely folk next time.